think it's very important that all of us as uh, citizens and stewards of the earth are doing all that we can for sustainability and also for protecting valuable resources. So instead of putting plastic into a landfill where 79% of it goes globally, 12% roughly gets incinerated or just 9% gets recycled. For us it's very important that all of that plastic gets collected and is recycled and finds another use, another valuable use. Yeah, uh, the vision for zero plastic waste on our planet Earth really stems from uh, the concern that I've had spending 30 years in the plastic industry and seeing plastic being discarded um, without people really taking much care and what happens to that plastic once it's used. Our planet Earth is a manufacturer of high recycled PET or RPET content packaging using a completely vertically integrated process, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. Our plant is really broken down into two specific processes. The first is the recycling process where we take baled PET water bottles and soda bottles as well as thermoform containers and we separate those from other uh, waste materials and we process that plastic uh, into a, what's called a dirty flake. Fully operational for phase one of the plant, we'll be utilizing somewhere between 80 and 85 million pounds a year of post consumer baled PET. And then that finished product, once it's gone through the sorting, the washing, and the decontamination process, will end up in three primary products that we'll be producing. It will be extruded sheet, thermoform containers, and preforms for the beverage industry. The dirty flake then enters the crone system, uh, which is the heart and soul of the technology of our company. And we wash the flakes and we get all the surface contamination off of the flakes. And then we take that to a decontamination reactor that's also provided by crones. And we can actually boost the molecular weight of the material or the intrinsic value and provide food grade packaging from that supply. When, when we uh, started to look for the suppliers of the wash line, we knew that there were a couple of suppliers that came out of Europe that were well known around the world. And as I was Googling one day, I actually saw Crohn's come up. And I asked my business partner, Joe, who knows the packaging industry, if he had heard of Crohn's before. He said, absolutely, they've got a great reputation. I called Germany and Dr. Thomas Friedlander picked up. It was around 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the evening in Germany. And we had a nice conversation for about half an hour and he told me that he would pass me off to his U.S. colleague who's responsible for sales in the U.S. of the Crohn's uh, PET recycling uh, equipment. This project for Bob and I started about seven years ago. We first sat down and uh, we really were taking a look at all the different technologies that were being used around the world to recycle polyester. And we didn't realize at first that Crohn's actually had been working on this um, in various parts of the world. Um, so we did some investigation and we actually went and saw a couple of facilities that were operating Crohn's equipment. We were quite impressed by how mechanically sound the equipment was and how very little manual labor was involved. And so then about uh, five years ago, we entered into a more formal agreement with Crohn's and got into the uh, design phase of our project. We've gotten to know Crohn's very well over the last five or six years, um, all the way from our German investor making contact with local Crohn's Seder and Christoph Klink, 
uh, and others in Germany, um, two of the contacts that we have here between Mike Scroblin, John Larson, Holger Beckman. Uh, we've been at this for a long time uh, and we have uh, gotten to know the Crohn's folks, the Crohn's family very well.